Hello everyone, Bentley Kay here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a Hot Flesh and Wrinkles Mon Makeup Monday video. And today we are testing out the Dream Urban Cover from Maybelline. This is a new foundation and this is it. So if you like this look, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started and see if this color is going to be good for me. Did I tell you what color it was? It is the color sunscreen. It's full coverage, protective makeup, sunscreen, broad spectrum of 50. Oh, classic ivory, number 120. And I have already primed my face with my Hydro Grip and then put a little putty primer in the T-zone from e.l.f. So, this looks dark. I'm just gonna put it on my the back of my hand. Oh, it doesn't look dark on my hand. And then I'm just gonna, no, it looks fine, huh? Dot it on my face. And then I think I'm gonna spread it out with a brush. Old school. It's even a clean brush. Looks like the color is pretty good for my self tanned skin. All right, now let's go back in with a sponge. Here's my sponge, my dampened sponge. Um, I don't really think I need it though at all. doesn't have huge coverage but it's pretty good it looks great I wish it had a little more coverage maybe we'll go in and see if it's buildable I like the squeezy tube I feel like it's more controlled Yeah, it's a little dark for me, I think. Maybe it's just because I'm so used to my... Mine always ended up being really light. Because I'm used to buying for my natural skin, not my tan skin. Which is what I do because when I'm tanning, I'm not real on it. So I have to be prepared for to go white. And that way, I can keep using it and I can just bronze it up if I happen to be tan. But I happen to be tan right now, so that works for this. And this one's going to cover that bad boy. Mostly because it's sticking out. It doesn't really itch anymore though, which is good. Okay, it looks good. Let's go in with some concealer. Let's 
see if we can take care of these under eyes and nose and him tone down him a little bit brighten that up a little bit That's enough. You guys want me to talk? <laughs> I don't have anything to say. What do you think of this foundation so far? Good? Looks pretty good. I like Maybelline products. I think it's one of my favorite drugstore brands. I don't really think about it, but it's like whenever I go to get something, and then, I mean, I try CoverGirl and L'Oreal, and I like L'Oreal too. CoverGirl I haven't had as much luck with. Um, Rimmel, I like their lip products. I don't really, can't really say I've found anything else that's standing out in my head right now. Um, I like Physicians Formula. I like, they had a foundation, a healthy elixir or something like that not too long ago. I liked it. Um, who else is out there? Hard Candy, I like their foundation. I didn't really care much for the eyeshadow things I got from them. Some of them I did. I shouldn't say that because I did like some of them. Okay. Let's go in with a little bit of contour before we powder. I'm going to use the Jordana this time since I'm so bronzy already. This is the Jordana um, I don't know what it is. Oh, there it is. Sculpt and Go from Jordana and this isn't light. And I'm just going to take this move it around a little. I like this one because it's not as orangey. It's more of a gray tone. Which to me means it's more of a sculpting than bronzing. But I like it. Got to do this little guy right there. All right, that's good enough. Okay, now we're going to go in and powder. And I think I'm going to use my Magic Star powder today. I 
had been using my banana powder because I was lazy and it comes in a compact but since this one has so much SPF in it there's going to be a lot of flashback from it anyways so I might as well use the white powder right although I think Jeffrey said there was not any flashback in this I don't know I don't plan on running into a lot of paparazzi today <laughs> so I'm probably fine right And now I'm just going to take my powder brush and spread all of this the rest of the way around my face. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back. This is my final look for the day. Um, so far, so good. This may be my new favorite makeup. I have one little dry patch here that it seems to have clung to. But I don't even know what that's about. It could have been the powder. But anyways, it looks great. It looks fantastic. I love it. It's not high coverage though because it can't cover this. And it actually, see the dark spot above the bug bite? It didn't really cover that either, but I'm okay with that. It still gives me nice, I mean, look at this side. This side looks, you know, fairly good. This side has a few spots, <laughs> which it always does. So, um, so far so good. I'll let you know, I'll come back at the end of the day and let you know how it wore throughout the day. And so I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I, it is the end of the day for the Dream Urban Cover from Maybelline. I like it. It looks fantastic. Now I did go over it with my sponge a little bit because it was a little bit shiny. So if you have oily skin, you might not like this. But it, was, it wasn't bad on my skin. I have normal to dry. Mostly just normal. But I certainly don't have oily skin. And it had gotten a little bit shiny and I'm not sure what did it what made it get shiny. Maybe it's super moisturizing. I don't know. What did it say? I didn't even read you what it said, did I? Well, let's just see what it says on the package. It says that the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen. It has a broad spectrum of SPF 50. Maybe I did read you part of this. Um, antioxidant enriching pollution protection Yes, I know. I read you some of this when I was looking for the color. And the color is Classic Ivory. So, for Classic Ivory, this is pretty dark, huh? So, that's what it says. And I like it. It it covers pretty good. It's not, good. it's not super full coverage. It's medium coverage. I would say it's medium coverage. Because I can still see stuff shining through. Oh, I forgot. I was going to put more lipstick on. <laughs> I forgot. Too late now, right? So, I hope you guys enjoy. This gets a thumbs up, for sure. I don't know if it's going to be my favorite new drugstore. Um, it's, it's good, though. But I still like my Catrice. So, I think it has better coverage. But I like this one, too. This one just doesn't have as many choice. Well, it probably has as many, because that one doesn't have very many, either. But it certainly doesn't have as many choices as some of the high-end ones. But it's also better than a lot of the high-end ones. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that little bell so that it'll so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Share this on all your social media. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. 
And somebody asked me if these nails were salon nails or if these were the, the nails, the, just the stick-on ones. They're the stick-on ones. So, I love them because they look so natural. If you guys want me to do a video on how I do these, leave it in the comments below. Because I've done, I think, two or three on how I do my nails. So, it wasn't the pink and white though. So, if you want me to do this one, just leave it in the comments below and it'll be a fun Friday video. So, anyways, this is the end of this video. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!